Hey everybody, Cameron Francis here, and this is Loner. Loner is basically my variation of a plot that David Regal popularized with his trick Alone, and then he did another one called All Alone, and it's a fantastic trick. Basically, anybody names any card, and it's the only printed card in an all-blank deck. I wanted to come up with my own version that met certain criteria. First of all, no R and S. No sticky stuff. No sleight of hand. It needed to be self-working. Only 52 cards used, no thin cards, and it needed to have an almost instant reset. You guys are going to love Loner. It's going to be one of your go-to tricks, I guarantee it. I want you to be able to see the deck at all times. Now, this is my imagination deck, and I'm going to show it to you here. Now, it looks normal, right? Like... Like, from the back, it just looks like a normal deck, yeah? Yep. Yeah. However, it's the faces. The faces are not so normal because, look, they don't, have, they don't have any faces. They're just completely blank cards. All of these cards are totally and completely blank, right? So what mm -hmm. we're going to do is, is use our imaginations here to do uh, some magic. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test your imagination. What I want you to do is uh, let's imagine you have four suits and they're sort of floating in the air right in front of you there. You have the clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. I want you to reach uh -huh. up and just pluck one out of the air. Which one's it gonna be? Diamond. Diamond, great. Okay, so you pluck the diamonds, perfect, we'll use that. Now, we also have a wheel. And on this wheel, we have all the, the, uh, the values here. We have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. And I want you to spin that wheel. So spin the wheel in your mind, yep. And it tick, 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 tick. And what does it land on? What card does that wheel land on? Queen. It lands on the queen. So the queen of diamonds is the, is the card yes. that you're, okay. Now, what I need to do is I need to use my imagination here, however, um, I, when, I, when I use my imagination, you see, I can see that all these cards are actually in order. And right here, this is the, that's the ace of diamonds right there. And, and in fact, that's the uh, ace, that's the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, oh, excuse me, jack, queen. That's the queen right here. This is the queen of diamonds. Can you see it? Well, it's, I mean, obviously, it's, it, 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 it's, it's hard, I know, because it takes a lot of imagination. But what we're going to do is this. We're gonna test your imagination a little further. Now you just saw that blank canvas look a lot like this blank canvas right here. I want you to imagine that on the blank canvas you just saw, I want you to imagine the queen of diamonds just burning into view on that white canvas so it just slowly appears and materializes, okay? And then I want you to imagine that the queen of diamonds down in that deck, it turns itself over like this so now it's reversed. It's the only reversed card in this deck. Can you imagine that? You got that? Got it. You got, got it. it. Okay. Yeah, I know you were you were really working on that, and and I you have a very good imagination. I can tell, <laughs> and in fact, it's so good. Let's see how you did. Okay. Let's see how you did. Now I'm going to start spreading through the cards. Okay, spreading through the cards, and is it? Whoa! Look at that. There's actually one card reversed. One card reversed in this deck. That's pretty amazing. Yes. And wouldn't it be incredible if that one card that were reversed was actually your? Queen of Diamonds. I'm so good. <laughs> you are. That's amazing. Wow. I'm impressed. You have an excellent imagination.